Hello everyone, just going to do a quick video today talking about uh, a possible storage method for HHO gas. Uh, as in the last video I said you sh really shouldn't be storing HHO gas and uh, I, st I do stick by that. Um, I would not recommend it, however if you still want to find a way of storing it then this is a possible method that I believe is quite safe. There's obviously no shrapnel with this method, which is the most important thing. If, it, if things were to go wrong and it was to explode, then no shrapnel is always a bonus. Um, you can store it under pressure with this method. And obviously because you store it under pressure, you can have quite a large quantity. So this would be perfect if you're in the middle of nowhere, um, or <laughs> you're not in a middle of area at least, or on a field, uh, on a farm. This might be a good solution for you to run a small engine or um, anything else really if you, want to use, uh, if you want to use for a gas furnace or something like that then this, this is a possible method that you could have and that is using a large balloon very large balloon that is suspended in the air by about 15 or 20 meters more or less whatever, 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 whatever you find safe and you go too high when you have wind issues you can't go too high but then too low you don't want it to be easily accessible when you're on with an open flame. Um, you can get really strong rigid balloons that are under pressure. You can buy them pretty cheap. You can secure it down with lines so it doesn't float away too much. Um, obviously because it's HHO it will float quite nicely anyway. So it will float up and as it depletes it will slowly drop down. And then it can be, uh, you can even have a switch at the bottom so it automatically refills with hydrogen from a power cell from a power source or something like that that's uh, feeding the, with it with HHL uh, and it will float back up again so you don't want wind blowing it around you can have guidelines holding it in place with it's feeding a small engine at the bottom um, you'd obviously have a flashback arista somewhere along the way so no flames can travel up to the line to blow the balloon but you could have a large I'm not sure how big but you can get a very big balloons I'm sure for pretty cheap you can just fasten it down, run your engine off it, fill it up and it's out of the way. Yeah, you could stand underneath it and if it was to explode it would be like a um, a firework going off. It would be loud, I would wear air protection if you were around it just in case but um, at the end of the day it's a safe way of storing HHO gas as long as you've not got uh, any annoying kids running around wanting to blow them up. <laughs> Um, that wouldn't be that wouldn't be a good. But uh, apart from that, there'll be no shrapnel. Uh, you can store it under pressure, and you can store uh, large quantities of it. So um, if you're still wanting to find a way to store HHO, you could possibly try this method. Um, I don't see any problems that you would get with it, especially if you're in a field or you're just running a small generator um, to power something at night, give you some electricity at night. Um, so there you go, that's a possible way of storing HHO safely. Um, possibly one of the safest, I can't think of any other method that would be safer, because uh, if you start storing it in steel containers, you'll have shrapnel issues. Start storing it underground, you'll have um, other issues. <laughs> and um, yeah, it'll be cheap as well. Uh, okay, thanks for watching.